<clears throat> so today I'm in the recording studio that we all know and love. And what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing a dopamine fast. That's like food fasting, but no dopamine, which means no cell phone. You're technically not supposed to have anything to drink, but I do have some tea. Now, why would you want to go without any type of external stimulus? Well, because we're all addicted to everything, like addicted to the cell phone, the scrolling your feed on Facebook or YouTube, just looking for the next hit of dopamine and the next thing to entertain yourself. What is dopamine fasting? Basically, dopamine is the feel-good hormone that you fucking get when you do all your fucking little bullshit addictions. Drugs, fucking porn, sex, fucking all the list. Food, electronics. Okay, so we'll go through these. So to start a dopamine fast. Number one, no fucking food. Okay, we know this. Fatty fasting, motherfucker. Fasting, no food. Because you get a dopamine hit from fucking food, especially sweet shit. Okay? Crazy amounts of dopamine. Number two, no fucking electronics. No fucking cell phone. No fucking TV. No computer. No fucking internet. No nothing. No fucking video games. Okay, those are probably one of the worst ones now. Fuck. The amount of views that I see on video game shit on YouTube is fucking horrendous. Number three, no fucking music. Okay, cut it all. Get the fucking headphones off, fuckhead. Number four, no sex or sexual activity at all, okay? No nothing, no pocket pussies, no fucking nothing, no jerking off. No fucking porn, obviously. Everyone's a fucking porn addict. Number five, no conversation. Okay, now this one's not going to have the huge dopamine hit. Conversation is actually healthy, real conversation. I'll get into that, okay? But number six, essentially no fucking stimulants of any type. No stimulants of any type. Okay, this dopamine problem is the biggest issue is why your lives are fucked up. This is how they keep you brainwashed. Okay, those shots of dopamine. Hit, 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 hit. Every time you get a notification on your phone, you get like slightly excited. Don't you ever feel that? It's like, oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Most of you don't need your fucking phone. Okay, you need it very little. Okay, I grew up with a fucking landline, okay? I didn't even have a cell phone, nobody did. It's like, geez, God forbid you fucking can't talk to somebody over fucking text all day. And guess what? That helps relationships. Because when it's when your fucking girlfriend or boyfriend's beeping you in text all day, how does that affect the real conversation that night? There is none. So you already heard everything the fucking dummy's got to say to you all fucking day. Okay, save it up. Fuck, okay? Dopamine fasting. Start doing it. Get your fucking lives back together, you fucking addicts. So I'm going to reset my dopamine by doing, I mean, you're supposed to really do it for a day, but I'm just going to do it for a couple hours. It's going to be more of a meditation thing. It's like 10, what time is it now? It's 10, 17. So we'll go for two hours. Then I actually have work I got to do. I got to upload another video and uh, do all sorts of fun stuff, make some phone calls. So I do have to do some internet-based stimulus today and reply to your comments on the YouTube and everything like that. So I've been trying to do more meditation things and get more, um, I don't know, not only branch out in content, but branch out in like mental wellness, things like that. And I know I've been way too, I, I mean, basically I've overdosed in stimulation on all types of phone related things and, uh, video games and it's it's not great. I used to be, I mean, I, I consume probably three audiobooks worth of content every every week. Normally one full audiobook of a, of a normal length and then just YouTube and podcasts, just long form educational things. And it's great because it makes me have very variety things when I say uh, in conversation. It makes me the, uh, you know, you watch Joe Rogan and you'll be the hit of the party because you'll know everything about MMA and chimps. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but you know, that's what he does talk about. But um yeah, I used to think that it would be I would consume up until I filled up my I don't know, my energy bank and then it would overflow and that overflow would be the production that I make. I used to think that I have to fill up my absorption so then I can put out content. 
but that doesn't make any sense. And I've done dopamine, I've done at least internet fast before. And after the first 24 hours, it something clicks in your brain and it's so fantastic. This was back in college, I went back to visit uh, my grandparents and they didn't have internet. I am super addicted to internet, as probably most of us all are. But they didn't have internet and the only thing I had there were books and oh my god, it totally got me back into reading. Like I went to the bookstore and bought more books that day. I read like four books in that weekend. It's fantastic and that kind of jump started me into reading all those many years ago. It's fantastic. So I'm going to do something similar, get a um, couple hour, maybe two hour. Oh, my back hurts. I just I was at the gym the other day. Oh, sore. Oh. All right. And this is probably good for my posture too, because I'm up against the wall. Oh, I need to fix that as well. There's lots of things that I got to fix <laughs> or at least got to improve. We're also doing, let's, let's check this out now. I'm also one day in 14 hours into my food fast. So I'm trying out the snake diet so I can get uh, my ripped abs back and then I can lean bulk from there and put on some more weight. So it'll be interesting to see. I'll, if, uh, if there's any interest, I'll show you uh, my normal fasting, food fasting as well. It's all kind of inspired by the same dude. His name is Cole. He runs the snake diet. Pl he plays a character for his videos. It's very um, hyperbolic and uh, in your face type A, like you can do it. You can, you know, things like that. But uh, so it's not for everybody, but it's pretty entertaining and I've been watching it and it's motivated me to uh, I've been doing the bulk and cut where I'll bulk up on just junk food and like eat and try and gain a lot of muscle and then have to cut down and then that didn't work. So I might as well just get ripped and then slow bulk from that. That's so much better because I mean, <sighs> there's a whole nother thing with fitness. It doesn't matter. I'll talk about that in another video. Right now we're going to be doing the uh, dopamine fast. So let me put my phone on silent. No notifications because I'm getting a ton of, uh, a whole ton of things. And then I'll throw this over here. I had planned to use the phone as like to set it up down here and show you a timer of how it goes, but I'll probably just put one in the corner somewhere because the angle that the phone is at, it, it doesn't really help. So it is, well, I'll set a timer anyway for myself. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, we'll do a stopwatch. Turn it this way. That's a better. All right, we'll do three, two, one. Boom. All right, no dopamine. In fact, I'll put the phone over here. Technically, I'm cheating because I'm drinking tea. Mm, very hot. All right, so. Oh, I'm already going stir crazy. I'll probably fast forward and then if I have anything interesting to say, we'll, uh, we'll slow the video down and uh, put it in the thing. I don't know how long this is going to be. And it probably won't be interesting either, but this is what I'm going to do. What I'll do is I'll splice in why you should be doing a dopamine fast and then I'll add all of this footage at the end, I would imagine. So we'll see. It's funny, there's a video, it's like sitting, staring, and smiling for eight hours or something. He does a bunch of them. And then one time somebody breaks into his house and the burglar takes a look at him. He's just staring at the camera like this for hours. Like, it's so creepy. And then a burglar broke in and the burglar took one look at him and saw him. And the dude is just like, not even staring at the burglar, just smiling at the camera like. Mm. And the burglar like got out. He was like, whoa, whoa. He left, it scared him away. <laughs> And then uh, it was so funny. So maybe I'll link to that somewhere if I can find it. It was a it was an old video, but so we'll just sit here and hang out. Maybe I can sleep sitting up. I learned how to do that in high school. I'm sure I'll go stir crazy pretty soon. This is a uh, hard fast. The food fast is, uh, it's not that hard. The hardest thing about fasting with food is definitely the mental aspect of it. Like you want, like I'm not hungry. I can go without food, it's not a problem. I mean, I've got some extra body fat. I'm probably at like 22%, maybe even 24 sometimes. I went down from, I was, I was 170 a couple weeks ago and then I did a two day fast and then one meal a day in, in keto for a full week. That was awesome. I got down to 160, which is crazy. And then uh, I'm sure a lot of that's water weight though. And then now I'm at like 158, 158. And I've been fasting for, like I said, one day and 14 hours. 
So that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I'm talking with a friend of mine and following the snake diet program. The big thing with the snake diet is, is it's for overweight people. And so you don't have really mu that much muscle mass to lose. But since I'm trying to gain muscle as well, I'm probably going to need to eat more frequently than I would like to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred down the body fat, get down to like 10%, hopefully, hopefully, uh, where you can get some visible abs and things like that. And then I'm going to bulk from there. I'm going to clean, lean bulk, and that'll be fun. I'm sure this video will be all over the place because I'm just going to say things that come to my mind. Maybe this is kind of like a, a proto-podcast, <laughs> the proto-cast. It's not interesting, but maybe you just want to listen to what I have to say. Maybe you just want to hang out. You want to feel like you're sitting across from me. Hey, this is kind of like an ASMR. So that'll be my new thing. It'll, you'll just, uh, it'll be like you're hanging out with me. Don't you want to hang out, you guys? Come on, take a seat. Let's go. You know, I'm just sitting across from you, hanging out, and we're just we're just meditating. We're fasting. We're uh, dopamine fasting. We're just hanging out, enjoying each other's company. Mm. So hot. Now, the best fasting to do, food fasting, is with snake juice, which is, uh, I got to link it in the description. It's, it's special types of salt that you can buy at the store. It's like no salt, and then pink Himalayan salt, and then some baking soda. You mix that together in a liter of water, and you drink that throughout the day. That's your electrolytes. So... You can, you can have all your energy because your fat burns. Your, it'll burn your fat and take your energy. Also, way before it does your muscle. But what you do need are salt and electrolytes and water. But you can what you could even do if you want to go crazy is do a dry fast where that's nothing for like four or five days. Don't go over seven with that um, because that's, you know, you do need water eventually. But not for, not for a few days. It's really great. I'll link to uh, Cole's videos of the snake diet. You probably won't like it. it he's probably kind of abrasive. But it's good for me, and I, I like it. It's a novel approach to fitness. And I know fasting has really good benefits. And if you do a pure water fast, which means no no uh, sips, no, no Mio, which are those drops you squirt in the water, no artificial sugars. On a normal fast, you can do artificial sugars because they don't have any calories. But on a uh, normal, uh, what would you call it? On a normal, just water diet, what, you, what happens is you go into cell autophagy, which is like after when you hit into ketosis, you start burning up cells that are already damaged or already weak, uh, the weakest link in the chain. Those are precursor cancer cells. You are killing the cancer before it ever grows because that's, you know, we're all susceptible to that. Our diets are garbage. You eat one Taco Bell and I almost guarantee you're going to get cancer. It's just, it's like that. And I used to eat, eat a lot of that stuff and drink a lot of monsters. I mean, I still kind of drink the monsters, but the diet ones, which are not, I eat. there's just, there's a lot of things that are buzzing in my mind. Yeah. Don't, don't drink any energy drinks. They're not good. Although I have heard some good things about bang the energy drink and they're pretty good. They have no sugar. And I think no artificial sweeteners, but I, I'm probably misremembering that. I don't remember where what I was saying or where I was going, but we'll see. Oh, I also have to, uh, every 30 minutes, I got to get up and press record on the camera again because for some reason the Sony a6300 cuts off at 30 minutes. I know there's some kind of firmware settings that I can change to fix that, but I didn't fix it before. I forgot. I need to take the lid off this maybe so it can cool out. This is a great mug. It's uh, you press a little button on the side and it opens up the sippy cup thing. It's pretty neat. So we'll just put that over there. Twenty minutes later. I gotta see how long it is because I do need to know when it's 30 minutes. But I feel like that's dopamine if I stare at the phone. Is it cheating? You, vote in the comments. Is it cheating if I look at this? <laughs> I should be doing this as a live stream. Uh, live, live stream, live stream. Maybe on D Live. I, I started streaming on D Live along with PewDiePie, but it was just pre-recorded of my last videos, and I didn't get any really views. So it's hard for me to want to do that, and it's mostly just for gaming, and I would be like vlog style stuff. But uh, vote in the chat if you think it's cheating if I stare at the timer or not. But you, you guys know. Technically, it's not really dopamine fast if, I mean, I mean, I'm talking to you guys, that's stimulants. It's like having a conversation. And when you're dopamine fasting, you should really be isolated because you do get the mental stimulus from a conversation. And, you know, it, it's just kind of like me talking to myself now. Which, you know, if the camera wasn't here, I'd definitely be considered insane. Because I'm just sitting here in a, uh, in a studio, in a closet, that's uh, just talking to myself. That's, that's marks of insanity. That's, uh... <laughs> uh all right, I know it hasn't been 30 minutes yet, but I need to see how long it's been. Okay, nine minutes. All right, 
So two more of those and I got to reset the camera. Uh, there's a story of, a, of an acquaintance of mine who was super nervous and as a nervous like socially and around people he picked up a habit where anytime he was super nervous he would just smile and he had a great smile it's like just like full-on smile like like everything the physical aspect of doing that will release the dopamines in your brain and will allow you to actually feel happy your act your feelings follow actions not vice versa a lot of people decide that you know, I'm going to go to the gym when I have, when I get the inspiration or the motivation to, or the discipline to, but it doesn't work like that. You get the discipline after you go, you get the happiness from it. You get the motivation to work out after you've done it, which is a big thing that like people get mixed up. It's the inspiration follows the action. You have to act first and the act of moving, the act of doing something will release those things in your brain will get the uh, your muscles pumping, will get your blood flowing, and that's what changes your mood. Now, I'm not a doctor, and if you have chemical imbalances in your brain, definitely see a professional about that, but you can cure a lot of depression, like low-level stuff, with physical exercise, just because it's it's getting out and moving your, moving your body. You know, we're not meant to sit around and, you know, they say sitting is the new smoking, but we're not meant to sit around on a computer all day like I do, or, or in a van. And uh, we're meant to be moving, meant to be going out and doing things. In fact, after this, after I get my work done, I'm going to go to the gym and do fasted cardio. Very low intensity, but it'll, it'll still burn those fat cells. I even have little keto strips that will test your blood ketones. So I'm, I'm moderate right now. I'm hoping by the end of the day, at the, uh, the 48-hour mark, I'll be full in ketosis, full-blown uh, red on the little strips. So forget where I was going with that. But, oh, the story of, of my acquaintance that smiled. Anyway... He was smiling and he would go to like parties or clubs and he was super nervous and he would just smile and he'd just be like that. And people just gravitated to him. He was magnetic because his smile conveyed so much things. He was on the inside screaming. Like he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Or like when girls would talk to him, he would just smile and it'd be like, wow. But they would be super attracted to him because he's, he's charismatic accidentally. So <laughs> it's the funniest thing. It's like, you know, he'll, girls will come up to him at the club because he's, he's smiling. He'll make eye contact and smile at him. And it's crazy. That even happened to me once at Planet Fitness and it was a complete accident. So here's, here's a funny story. Uh, <laughs> I've never said, that, I've never told this one before. I was on the treadmill, just getting, getting into exercise and things like that. And I was listening to a podcast. I was listening to the complete guide to everything. And it's a pretty funny podcast. In fact, I, I, I model a lot of my own work after what they've done. It was funny, and I was, and I, I had my eyes closed like this, and I was just, oh, they just said something funny, and I, and I was like, <laughs> like, like full on, really enjoying smile, and I put my head up, and and I just opened my eyes, boom, locked eyes with another girl across the entire gym, like boom, and and she saw me, and she saw me like like really charismatically smiling and working out and like, you know, I was looking pretty good that day. Not five minutes later, she comes, and the whole place is empty. It's really just like me and a couple other people and her. All the treadmills are open. She comes and stands right next to, she gets in the treadmill right next to me because we had locked eyes and smiled and everything like that. And so I have a friendly greeting. I mean, I, you know, it was kind of an accident that I did all that. And two, I had a girlfriend at the time. So I was like, ah, how much is, I just always remember that. And that'll stay with me forever because it's the power of a smile and the power of doing something will change your body. Smiling will make you happier. Going back to that sitting and smiling YouTube guy, just, I've been, I've been smiling more in social, com in social things. I just, I now have a resting smile and I do, I do like a body check where I'm like, okay, check my posture, do everything like that. And I'll think about that. Like every, every hour or so I'll be like, what's my posture now? Get my shoulders back. Right. You know, things like that and smile. Like, so this will be my resting smile that I'll have. A lot of times it's, it's like, it's fake because well, it's not really fake, but I'm doing it on purpose. I'm consciously having a smile in social events and areas just because it makes me be a little bit more social it tricks your brain into thinking like oh yeah you know i am having a good time when i'm super introverted but it also makes other people it'll have a reverberating effect there's a great thing if somebody likes you you start to like them like if somebody like if you're if if some girl has a crush on you and you've never even you've never even seen her before and she's like oh i like you your brain will like start clicking like Oh, well, if she likes me, I guess I like her. That's like within within reason. 
And it kind of goes back to uh, Dale Carnegie's win friends and influence people, which influenced me a lot as a kid. I read that in high school. It's really good. I recommend it. Mm, tasty. This is black cherry herbal tea. And I cheated. I put a little bit of Mio into it. Mio is that drink. It's the black cherry Mio, so it kind of adds a little bit of vitamins. It's kind of my alternative to snake juice sometimes because it'll keep your electrolytes up. It'll keep your B12 up. It's kind of like a little multivitamin. And this one has caffeine in it, which I'm addicted to that. The first fast I did was 44 hours. And what killed me was not the lack of food. It was the coffee. I cold cut all uh, caffeine. It, it like, that was the worst part. I had headaches. I was so tired. I slept half the day. It was not great. So I've been weaning myself off of it. And you know, technically I'm not even supposed to drink coffee or uh, anything like that. But, uh, I, I was kind of in a similar vein, in a similar mentality. I, I was vegetarian for a little over a year. It was for the health reasons. I was never into the save the animals type thing. I went vegetarian, one, as like a disciplinary thing, two, I saw the movie Forks Over Knives, which is a propaganda film uh, against the big meat industry and things like that, and even after that, I'll still only eat organic meat now, but the whole thing was, if I go to somebody's house and they're cooking dinner, I'm not going to have something special. If, if we're going to a restaurant and they don't have any vegetarian options, I mean, I'll look for the vegetarian options and I would have picked that. Anything that would cause a social inconvenience to somebody else, not to me, if it was... If it was a little bit inconvenient for me, I would still stay that vegetarian. But I wasn't going to make somebody special make something if I was at their, their house for dinner. Like, that's, I thought that was too much. So there were breaks in there where I had some meat and things like that. Uh, one time, even accidentally, I had Jijin Young, which is a Korean black bean paste noodles, which is my favorite Korean dish. I think it's the best. With pork in it, and I didn't realize it had finely chopped pork in it. And I, I, it didn't have that on the recipe, but it had that in the sauce. So I had uh, things there too. Eventually, I wanted to wanted the new Burger King Angry Whopper when it came out in 2012. So I cut my fasting or my uh, vegetarianism out. I guess this is kind of like dopamine fast, where I retell stories of my youth or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of like hanging out. It's an ASMR. You're hanging out with me, and I'm gonna go through and read all the comments and see see what's up. And I'll make it educational. The first part of the video will be explaining better what a dopamine fast is and why you should do it. I'll splice in some of the pictures of uh, Cole, the snake dive dude, talking about dopamine fasting. And uh, maybe I'll splice in a clip of uh, smiling and staring, that, that dude. My internal clock says 21 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, I was close. I was close, that's not bad. What do you guys think? You want to try a dopamine fast or a regular fast? Now I'm self-conscious. So I want to test to make sure we're still recording. Yep. Yep, still recording. I just wanted to make sure. I'd be, I'd go back to being crazy just talking to nobody when the camera's off. That's, that's no good. Also, if I think of anything really awesome, ideas, I carry this uh, little voice recorder, go ch ch uh, audio log 17, you know, something like that. And then probably every two weeks I'll go through the 300 notes that I made and I'll write them down in my notebook and then follow up on any other ones that are interesting. But I just brought that with me today. I think frontwards though, profile like that look pretty good. I got the little pompadour. I do need a haircut though. It's getting too long. I've been trimming it myself, actually, because it, it'll curl up and do really weird things, so I'll just chop the curl off. Although, you know, the sides are getting way too long, way too big. So I'm gonna go do that before I do any more client work in person. I gotta, gotta look more professional. I just ordered new dress shoes. I think it's, ah, oh, shoot. It was a famous brand. It was something like that. I, I need some nicer things. My old shoes are falling apart and, uh, what they're what these are cool is they're uh black leather monk straps which you know old velcro shoes for kids it's kind of like that but with a with a strap like a belt thing it's very very classy how many guys do you know that are wearing monk strap shoes very few so it's like pretty stylish there's also um i want to get some new more modern suits because mine are 
I've, I've actually been gaining like some good muscle so my suits aren't really like fitting that well because I got them when I was a tiny little tiny little teenager or college student something like that I don't know they were probably when I was like 145 which if you can imagine I'm I'm 6'0 145 super skinny like I mean you can already see kind of the remnants like look how tiny my uh my wrist is like you know I'm a wrist lit but uh you know the forearms are pretty good I'm working on those and the biceps. The biceps actually look better when you're not wearing shirts, but I'll show you that when I get my abs, <laughs> when I get down to 10% body fat. All right, well, what a bummer. It was set to 30 minutes, but I forgot I started recording before I put the timer on. I lost like five minutes of really good dialogue. We were having a good conversation, you guys. Uh, the last thing that got recorded was me talking about uh, body fat percentage and I went and talked about a bunch of cool stuff. Talked about podcasting and all sorts of things like that. But uh, I guess the moment's gone. I'll talk about that more in a different video. But uh, I think right now I'll just sit back and I'll try. I set a timer for 25 minutes, so that won't happen again. I think right now I'll do a n not talking to anybody. Just straight up meditating into the void. No, no dopamine. Dopamine fasting for fixing your life. How's that for a title? And then I'll have a thumbnail where Where I'm like that How about that? Okay, here's the thumbnail Whatever the background is I'm at the foreground in the front doing this smiling uh, cropped out and then in the back maybe it's Cole from the snake diet he's doing his yelling face or something like that and then there's a picture of a phone with the circle crossed through it it's like no phone or and then like no cookies like no phone no cookies things like that so we'll see no alcohol or something like that uh, dopamine fast to to fix your life to improve your life something like that and like I said the first part I'll edit in some educational things in some intro so it's not just like me sitting here for you know 30 minutes although I think this will be a long one I'm really trying to improve myself I've, I mean I've always been big into self-improvement those have always been my favorite books ever since I was a kid I'm always trying to learn new things um, and then I always feel like uh, it, it, there's, there's a bit of imposter syndrome. In my professional life, I used to have that a lot. I used to be like, oh, why would somebody want to pay me this much to do that? Um, but see, the thing is, you don't know how valuable it is because other people don't know it. Like, it, what seems easy to me is very difficult to other people because they're not, they don't live in it or they, don't, they haven't trained as much as I have to know how to get the proper social media algorithms or something like that. I mostly do marketing and media production like that. And so it's like you're paying not just for maybe it only takes me an hour to do something, but it took me years to learn how to do it that quickly. There's a there's a good famous quote about that. It's like about self-employed services or something like or tr maybe it's painting. It's like it or sculpting. It was something. It was a famous quote. I'll see if I can find it, but no promises. But trying to get trying to get jacked trying to uh, get smarter and uh, just be more successful in general. You know, I think we can all <laughs> want to do some of that. <laughs> When I'm conscious of it, now I start to blink. <laughs> it's like a staring contest with, uh, with the lens. Six and a half hours later. Three weeks later. Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright, well that was two hours. 
It's not that it's not that much. Not even that lot. Not even that lot. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, but you know, you're really supposed to do 24 hours or even 48 hours if you can, because you know it's not that it's not that intense to just sit down and do nothing for two hours. It's pretty easy to just zone out, let your imagination run wild, think about all the things you got to do. Uh, I think if I kept it up for I don't know for another day or so, it'd be a lot better. I'm actually kind of hungry now. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do literally nothing. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. It's time for bonus content. Did uh, I can't remember if I recorded this or not, but these are the uh, these are the shoes I got. They just got delivered. So let's take a little look real quick. Look a looky loo. Ta-da! Looks pretty sharp, right? Yeah, there you go. This is the monk strap. Pretty stylish. I'm gonna go good with uh well I need some new suits, but it'll go good with the ones I have now. Anyway, thanks for watching. If your desk isn't in a closet and made out of cardboard boxes, I mean what are you even doing with your life? <laughs>